there if this is going to be a general love reading for the sign up. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to do Aries. I just did Leo's because, well, it is Leo season, right? So let's go ahead and do the fire signs first. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Aries. This is also going to be for the first part of August, but you know, it's time is an illusion. Could resonate for a different time period, but let's just go ahead and see what we got. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Aries, cross watcher. What messages do you have for Aries? Uh-oh, what is this? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. <gasps> I just got the chills because I feel like I feel like some of you are, are in the new beginning stages of a relationship. Oh my God, how funny is that? The honeymoon stage. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. It's like the honeymoon stage. Getting, it's, it's those, it's the beginning where it's like, ah! The butterflies and you know, the whole. Uh, some, you guys are in the beginning stages of new love. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. That's hilarious. Okay, listen, I love it. It's phenomenal. Some of you, it's it already happened, and some of you, maybe it hasn't just yet. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not just yet, but for some of you, it did. Uh-oh, could be with a, an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra with the King of Swords. Now this could be any sign besides being an air sign, right? But this could also be somebody who's a little bit more, they're hard to read because they're more logical, because they're not like wearing their emotions on their sleeve, heart on their sleeve. They're just a little bit more cold in, as far as emotions go. The King of Swords would be someone who is very logical. So you, he would not necessarily go based on what he feels. He would mo more so go based on facts. You have the Seven of Cups confusion here. Confusion landed on top of the King of Swords. Somebody here could be confused about the way that they feel. I feel like they're confused because it happened so quickly or it's so out of the blue. It, it, it came when you weren't looking. Could also be Virgo energy here with the Hermit. You have the Sun, which is literally the happiest card in the entire deck. It could be Leo energy, but it's the happiest card in the entire deck. There's this, somebody makes somebody laugh. They're very different from your usual type or something. It's like, they're so different. They're, it's like they're a unique creature. It sounds weird right, to say it like that, but that's how they look at it. They go, Bro, that guy is so like strange, but like they're so into it, right? Or, like that chick is so weird, like, but they're so into it. There's some type of draw. There's an attraction. And I don't feel like it's the usual type. Six of Wands, somebody could be in the public eye. Six of Wands can indicate public recognition, but it literally is public eye also. Somebody here could be, that's the type of work they do. Draw. I can just feel it. They're like, ah, oh, the fool. She's so different. She like dances to the beat of her own drum. The fool doesn't care what anybody else thinks or doesn't care what anybody else is doing. The fool does her own thing, right? She is about taking risks. She takes these, these leaps of faith. She is just fearless. And that's what they love about you. I feel like this wanted to come out eight of wands communication or movement somehow there's a breakthrough i feel maybe there's no communication because it's like a new person you just met them and then like you're kind of nervous you're not sure oh i don't know is it going to be reciprocated and with the six of pentacles coming out which is reciprocity i think it's reciprocated i think like it's this back and forth of fast moving energy which would be either traveling to visit each other or communication like text messages phone calls things of that sort i feel like there's going to be a lot of messages it's getting to know each other like that would be phone calls video you know i don't know what it is but I mean, it's not like we can just travel freely right now, you know? It's, 
it's probably gonna be getting to know each other that way six of cups this is a past life soulmate i feel like when the connection is made whether it's phone call whether it's in person because you see him at the store whether it's i feel like it's hmm. when the connection is made ah oh, it's it it's over one conversation changes everything hook line and sinker they're 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 all tied up after that like literally <laughs> it's a fucking entanglement one conversation literally one fucking sentence it's that moment of opening up and connecting with a person and it seals the deal this is this is delicious gorgeous energy aries and Aries cross watchers because for a minute you guys was having the same damn message over and over and over and over and over and over maybe some of you finally listened <laughs> two of pentacles weighing something out that's his king of swords it's not sure he's weighing it out he's trying to be logical you can't use logic always you got to use logic to make sure you're not doing something stupid but you can't always use logic mm, see the knight of cups I bet you know Cause I never told you found out I got a crush on you. Mm. Somebody's got a crush. You like them. Admit it. I think it's the first step. They say that's always the first step, right? Is the <laughs> is the admission of the <laughs> admitting you have a problem, admitting you have a crush. It's like admit it. you like them i don't want to like nobody that's what i just heard in my head i don't want to like them i don't want to like nobody well i apologize ebenezer scrooge <laughs> ebenezer scrooge it doesn't matter this could be the aries this could be the other side this is someone who just is like i don't want to Feels like they just came out of something. That could be that could be the reason too. When you just come out of something and you're just like, screw that, no way, not gonna get into nothing else again, no way, no how. Then you meet somebody. I feel like they make you laugh though. The sun, happiness, pure joy. When you have the sun, it's the happiest card in the entire deck, right? It trumps everything. But it also can be fame and success. Somebody here could be famous or in the public eye. Somehow you're in the public eye. They make you laugh. I just keep seeing it and feeling it and hearing it. It's like they're so damn different within the next few months. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to do a couple more oracles and then we are going to finish this particular reading. And then we are going to do the extended version, which you can purchase below. And in the extended version, we're going to do a whole different spread with a whole nother tarot deck to see what the hell's going on here. <laughs> um gentleness oh no oh you know aries you guys are like pop off ish pop off mm, they make you feel soft and gushy or vice versa yeah this or this king of swords is more and and it's just this gentleness it's this gushy it's that whole Knight of Cups, secret admirer, crush energy. It's, it's this gentleness. It's also, it doesn't feel forced. It just, it's, it's organic. The connection is, the attraction is. It's an extremely organic thing. Awareness, someone's, remember I said that earlier? It was like, that's the first step, is admitting you have a problem or admitting you have a crush. It's literally a big deal. To, at least you got to admit it. You also have innocence. It's like you weren't looking for it. And also someone has this childlike innocence to them. They're, they're, remember I said you have this like weird draw to them? They're odd, they're unusual, they're different. It's, it's so the fool energy. Her innocence or his innocence comes from the fact that they're not afraid, they're not jaded. They're not jaded from things that have happened in the past. Maybe tremendous things happened to them in the past, but they don't hang on to those things and they, they move freely. 
and, and they have this extreme childlike wonder to them or this excitement or or they bring that energy out in you this childlike excitement and wonder and oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. and it's just like you know because I never told it's it's about admitting it that's a step admittal is step one as they say <laughs> I don't want to like nobody and I want to be grouchy and I'm just gonna be by myself and I'm gonna be alone you know damn well you want someone to snuggle up with okay honey it's gonna be cuffing season soon shit I mean really it's been cuffing season all year because hello with the circumstances of which we were under under 2020 Hello, it's like life is too short to wait. You really want to wait on this? No, you don't. Now this, of course, we always use extreme discernment, right? We don't want to go get ourselves into something that is bad for us. If there's red flags, don't ignore them. Don't pretend you colorblind now. All right, I'll see you guys in the extended Aries and Aries Cross Watchers. I want to remind you guys to please follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. If you have TikTok, follow me there. It's the same handle. And also, thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I love you guys so very much. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you want to book a reading with me, you guys know the drill. Check the description box below in all of my YouTube videos and see what I offer there first before you email me. And when you do email me, please put it in the title of the email. All right, I'll see you guys later. I love you guys. Bye.